Chapman and all of the people who've worked on eTag over the past year or so to deliver this new strategy and for all the work they've, they've put into it, which has been truly immense. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an exciting time for Scotland in tourism. Tourism is, by many measures, the largest industry in Scotland. It's worth £4 billion if we look at it in monetary terms. It employs a huge number of people one way or the other throughout Scotland. And it represents an immense opportunity, in my opinion, for this country and this capital city over the next few years. And, of course, a huge number of people who come to sample Scotland's pleasures do so because of our landscape, our scenery, our heritage, our history, our castles, our visitor attractions. And in 2014, we will again celebrate the year of the homecoming, the year when everyone will be welcome to Scotland. Uh, and as has been mentioned, we have, I think, a once-in-a-century opportunity with the film Brave, the, the Disney Pixar film, and the reason why it's important is the film Brave is about Scotland and it's going to be shown in 72 countries in the world. And the Scottish actors and actresses that will provide the voiceovers include Billy Connolly and Robbie Coltrane and Craig Ferguson. Uh, Emma Thompson will also be there. So we've got some of the, the top names in the world doing the voiceovers. Uh, and it's all about, uh, uh, admittedly a fictitious, but an animated cartoon version of Scotland. Now, I have a three-year-old daughter, Natasha, and um, I've, I've watched uh, Toy Story 1 and 2, I think, 30 or 40 times each. <laughs> so, this is like Toy Story 2, except it's going to be bigger, because the budget is $200 million. And it's going to be seen in 72 countries in the world. And this film, therefore, will be seen by several hundred million people in the world, many of whom, like me, will see it 30 or 40 times. What a tremendous opportunity for Scotland to say, you've seen the movie, now see the country. And you can be sure that this opportunity is not one that Mike Cantley, Malcolm Roughhead, the First Minister who's taking a close interest in this, will let slip by our grasp. And if we can translate a tiny, tiny, infinitesimal percentage of all those viewers of this film to come to Scotland and see what the film was about, then we will, uh, we will see success in, in a way that might surprise us all. Each of Scotland's citizens is an ambassador to Scotland. When we go to another country for a holiday, we want to be happy, we want to have a good time, we want to see smiling people who are nice to us, who offer us gratuitous help and advice about where to go and find something, who will go up to see, to help a visitor, obviously puzzled about something, and ask if we can help. These small things make a huge difference, I think, when we are enjoying uh, a holiday in another country. Uh, I think increasingly in Scotland we're becoming aware of the fact that we are, all have a role to play uh, in tourism. The Royal Mile, the castle, the galleries. It's difficult to think of any finer architecture in this world. And it is, of course, a World Heritage Site. Uh, and as we heard from Paul, it's ranked year after year as the top city in Britain, and in some occasions in the world, to visit. We really have a magnificent asset in this city. We want to enthuse young people in Scotland so that tourism is a career of choice. And we all have a role in this, in promoting what it means, in getting in, in and among schools to explain to children what it means. Perhaps the, the programme Master Chef, which is on again at the moment, has transformed the way children think uh, about that career. But we need further to transform the way the, that uh, children in Scotland think about tourism in general. Business tourism, which is already worth around 75 million, I believe, to the city, that could be worth even more uh, because, as Hans says, uh, when delegates for a conference find that they're coming to Edinburgh of a particular association, 30% more people come, such as the popularity and the draw of Edinburgh. And I very much hope that, uh, uh, provided there is appetite for it within the business community in this city, uh, uh, that there may be consideration given to having a business improvement district. But it will have to be business-led, and it will have to be an agreed agenda uh, worked out amongst businesses. I'm pleased to say that I've had very useful discussions just yesterday with Robin and Tom Buchanan of Edinburgh Council. 
and I think there's, there's a, a reasonable consensus that that is the best way to proceed. So I wanted to take that, this uh, opportunity to make uh, that, uh, that uh, clear. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, hope that, that these few remarks have uh, given some information to you about what the Scottish Government is doing on tourism. It's extremely important to us. Growing the economy is our main priority as the Scottish Government and tourism plays an integral and essential and interlinked part with that, with all the other great industries in Scotland. Um, this city is, although I started off life as a Glaswegian, very much in my heart, and as Robert Burns said, the heart sigh, the part that sigh, max as richt or rang. The heart's always the part that's always right or wrong. My heart is in this city. I'm delighted to launch this strategy here to you today, and I wish you even greater success in the coming winning years. Thank you very much indeed.